fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken. Right, here we go, guys. I noticed in the video we got Todd. Your oh, screen Todd's. it flutters. Is that just because of the plexi? Any screen does that. It's this camera. Oh, okay. No, but you know, if you look at even like a computer monitor, it's going to do that. It has to do with the refresh rate, the frame rate. Okay. Yeah. Science coming out, Skinner. No more science. <laughs> Have you seen the Panoptics uh, live scope, Skinner? What's that? It's Garmin makes it and. Uh, Simrad, so it's like it's almost like a sonogram live scan. Oh no kidding! Photo wow. And forward. Yeah, he sent me a link. It's nice. it's ridiculous. Wow. Okay. You right. actually see the fish swimming. swimming around in schools, it's incredible. So yeah. we got Todd. We got Katie. We got Spiro mating. We got Todd. Long Island yeah, Lethal. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have yeah, one out. Sunday, July 4, overcast. Nobody's driving the boat. Spiro, shouldn't a good mate uh, be watching the wheel? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> see what happens. Goal is Montauk. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, a Skinner package trip with Long Island Lethals, a great YouTube channel. I'll have a link in the description. Todd Mann, his wife Katie, my mate Spiro, headed to Montauk. See a running shot here of us about to hit the point. And an interesting trip and uh, a lucky one for me because we caught three fish relatively quickly and then it was dead city uh nothing going on for about five hours and in the last hour we managed seven nice keepers a charter limit not a boat limit but a charter limit great time had by all but something i haven't experienced much uh, th there are the highs and lows of fishing you'll hear skinner and i debating this during the trip where it's not unusual to have a flurry of fish for an hour and then Bite dies off for 90 minutes and then turns on for an hour. And, and that's the cadence of fishing or fluke fishing usually. This trip was different. We had an hour of, of okay fishing, then five hours of nothing. And then the last hour saved the day. Seven keepers in one hour. Hope you enjoy this video. Check out Todd's video. He put this trip up a couple weeks ago. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. I don't think it's a skate. We're moving way too fast. All right, let me grab the net. I'm sliding on all these stupid yeah, Skinner destroyed. I got my hair done in less than That is a fluke, nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Katie. Good job. Maybe a little, but we'll measure. No, you know what? No, no might, it's fine. Don't be might be okay. Don't be okay. On the teaser. This always happens when we're out with people. Never when we're alone. <laughs> Katie, I've, I've seen you catch. I've, he's been caught before too. Look. Whoa. First drift, first keeper. And if you look at the fish, you'll see all these little beads on it, these little ball beads, and the floor is filled with them. And man, what what a mess! See, one of my three bean bags exploded. The one Skinner was sitting on on the right out, and the boat was filled with tens of thousands of these. Uh, giant pain in the neck to deal with all day. We were slipping and sliding on them. They were getting everywhere. Uh, never happened to me before. There's the bean bag in question, um, uh, thrown away when we got back to the dock. Um, but uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, we needed a shop vac to, to get them all out at the end of the day. Added about an hour to the end of the trip. Oh. Go right back down. Keep jigging. Up and down, up and down. I got it, Skinner. Drop. Spiro got it? Yeah, that's a fluke. Yeah, he's good. Leave him, leave him. He's going. Let me help. Let me get Spiro. Let me get the net. It's good. It's great. It's a great one I had. It's always good when the mate steals the customer's right? fish. It's not like you guys are paying a lot <laughs> no, of money. That's, okay. <laughs> that's a nice fluke. Oh, oh this way. 
That was probably the fish. <laughs> nice fish, man. Oh, hey, no cursing. Nice fish. Nice fish. Okay, look, strat, it's slack. You gotta do that right away. Look what he spit up. Look what he spit up. It's not my goal. No, it's squid. Whoa, that's a fluke. That's the right one. There you go, Todd. Waded through all those friggin' sea bass. This has got weight, dude. All right. Yeah, Are you on your sun app again? What happened? Him. Oh, yeah, he, he the sun app. <laughs> Coming up with you now. Yeah. Did you drop him? Oh no, there he is. There you go. Oh! Oh, whoa! whoa. Alright, Todd. Don't worry, we're not gonna lose him. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> <Did you play? laughs> oh. Made a nice, nice dash there. I just want you to know nice how nice down. Todd was about that. What do you mean? Slide him right on the thing. <laughs> nice job, Todd. Can we get a video? And if that's and the adventures in netting continue, and here's a shot of it in slow motion. I might do, I might get the spinner and cast opposite you guys. Jig it back. Test out the spinning version of this rod. Oh, that's the spinning version? Nice. Yeah. And the rod Todd is using and the spinning rod that I just picked up and you see me using here is uh, made by a company called VRC. They're mostly a freshwater rod company. These are secret blanks and these are all American made rods. And they reached out to me back in the spring wanting to partner with me on a rod. We're beta testing these. Hope to have them available, you know, sometime in the next few months. Uh, fingers crossed. But yeah, that, that's what this is. Uh, Todd was using the conventional version and I was testing the spinning version. Literally the first time these rods ever hit the water, they, they both did great. See, I've had some people tell me it makes no difference. And some people are like, you cannot do that. And I'm like, okay, we'll change the pole then. <laughs> well, how do you reel that righty? And you, I, that's what I don't understand. That people can reel, I can only reel righty. <laughs> Oh really? I reeled the other one. Oh, guys. Okay, right. You can reel righty, take it. It's a good fluke. I'm going Don't lose it. it. Yeah. Good fluke. Why did you just drop that fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skin out. Come on. It's good. How's it feel, Katie? It feels like it's really light and flexible pole. It feels like what? The pole is very light and flexible. Yeah. I'm not used to it. Flexible, flexible. Well, you know about light poles, Katie. <laughs> don't, don't horse it, just reel. There it is, nice fluke. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, Smiro, come help with this line. It's a big fish. It. Yeah, it's got her line though. And what you caught the very beginning of there was me discussing the fact that I reel spinners and conventionals righty. A lot of people do typically righty on the conventional, lefty on the spinner. I've never understood that. I Left hand is my hand for the power, right hand is for retrieving. That's how I did it my entire life. I'm checking mine now too. It felt like bottom. Yeah. Mine was off. I just hit the button and it's on. So it's camera was good. off. Todd's got a really good fish on. Wow, wow, big head shakes. It's a big fluke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Todd. I'm going to give Katie half the credit. Oh, my battery just died. All right, mine is good. It's got weight, Skinner. Oh, nice fish, Todd. There we go. Good job. Sweet. Seven plus. Dude, it feels great yeah. on these light rods. Yeah. That's, that's, so why, that's why I've been preaching this for like how many years? I know. Nice fish, Todd. 
Wow. It feels like like I felt it like he Where's your bucktail? Oh there it is. And then your your rods he hit. Up, so you're not gonna lose the fish. Like, you know? And just came up with it. He hit the white with the The white's been great lately. Yeah. Nice. Nice fish. 25 and uh 25 on the nose. Nice. Even. Nice. Oh. 25, so six pounds. Yeah. Feels all of six. Ooh. Oh! Uh -huh. I didn't know. I thought it was a sea bass. I was just reeling and pissing around. I didn't realize it. Oh, and that's a keeper. Good yeah. job. Hey. Took the lead back from Todd. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Three in a row. Wow, dead for hours. For hours. Lightened up? Yeah, but he's going to be decent. Okay. I just needed everybody to be out of the water so I could get a crack. Because <laughs> no, we, we drift them you know, ass in first. So. Wow, okay. Good fish here. Yep, decent. 20. All right. Get thick now. Yeah, yeah. We're in a good spot. We got three fish right there. Wait, we got Spiro too. I'm not talking about anybody specifically. Oh, 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 Todd, is your camera on? I wish my camera was running. Oh, I had that. Nice job. Seriously, that was awesome. <laughs> and I was looking right at him. Is my camera on? Yeah, your camera's on. <laughs> That's what I always say to Skinner. Oh, there we got Katie too. I got, guys, I guarantee you this is right where we were hitting him last time. Yeah, Todd, nice fish. Nice. Nice. Yep. Katie, you need a net? No. Oh, I don't. All right. All right. Well, last time you didn't think you needed one either. This is, this is somewhat disappointing, though, that <laughs> hours and hours and hours of of the half bites and the on the on the Wonder Bread, man, you weren't kidding on about the Wonder that. Wonder Bread, yeah. But that's probably the fluke. Best fall yeah. Down. Good one. Yeah. Okay. You got the net on that side, Spear. If you want to pass it to me. Wow. Again, I'm sounding like a broken record, but we're we're fishing all this time. Well, this is right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what, Skinner? Usually, if they're here, if we have a school of them, you'll go an hour on, a two hour, an hour and a half off. But five hours of finicky bites, and then an hour of insanity. Good job. What's wrong with the rig? I don't know what it is. You got potential with this fish, though. Oh, Oh, nice fish. Wow. Look at this one. Oh, it's off. Look at this one. Nice. All right, I'll walk it back towards you. This feels heavy. I know. See what was weird? Ate that bucktail. Yeah. There's a lot of fish here. Oh no! Hit the teaser. He ignored that Skinner bucktail. Well, it's orange. Right? <laughs> 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 I get part right. I get loose. It's a big, big thing. Yeah. Big one. We get hit halfway down. We'd be hooking up with the sea bass. Fifty feet. Now you're all the way down. Ooh. Katie! That's got some potential, right? Let's go! On the way! Ready? Nope, no slack. Ah, it, it, it's not as big as the other one. It's a fluke, though. How's it feel? It feels good. Limit. Uh, limit. Katie the limiter. No. Good. <laughs> it's 
not almost drop this one in the water like the last one. Oh my god, this thing is like air. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, it feels good. And that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said in the beginning, check out Long Island Lethal's Todd's channel. Very scientific, very funny too. Um, excellent, one of the most underrated YouTube fishing channels up here in the Northeast. I'll have a link in the description. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.